This is the uh, revised schematic for the uh, DIY Maxim PowerPoint uh, charge controller project, or at least for the uh, charge controller portion of it. I've replaced the uh, original uh, butt converter uh, MOSFET driver circuit with a uh, N-channel MOSFET, which will um, be advantageous as far as reduced uh, MOSFET losses um, due to its uh, lower on resistance because uh, N-channel MOSFETs have lower on resistances than do a comparable uh, P-channel MOSFETs. And the IRS-2118 which is a uh, bootstrapping driver it'll actually work up to uh, driving MOSFETs up to 600 volts above uh, ground potential. This is going to work at probably no more than 50 volts above ground potential. And um, uh, another thing I had to add due to this because the IRS-2118 is um, a uh, is an inverted input driver, as in you need to uh, drive the output to uh, ground to turn the out to turn the uh, MOSFET on and up to uh, its logic high threshold of over 9 volts in order to turn the MOSFET off. One problem with that is that the pick is, like virtually all picks, um, works at about 5 volts. Yes, there are a bunch of picks that only work at about 1.8 volts to 3.3 volts, but picks, with very few exceptions, don't go above 5 volts in terms of their operating potential. Um, as a level, as a, due to that, I need to come up with a little uh, level shifter, and this is a little RTL NOT gate with a um, MOSFET, which will probably be a, a 2N7000 or comparable, or comparable device and a resistor, because that accomplishes both uh, the need for the logic inverting, because again, this uh, IRS-2118 being an inverted uh, input chip and uh, the need for the level shifting between the 0 volt, 5 volt pick and the 0 volt, 9 volt and up uh, IRS-2118. There is a, a non-inverting version of this which can take a logic level and puts the IRS-21171 but at least on a DigiKey uh, those were only available in uh, SOIC packages, and one of the criteria for this is that for ease of repair of uh, repairability, all components, whenever possible, are uh, are a through hole. So far, the ACS713 Hall Effect Current Sensor is the only uh, surface mount part, and that I'm doing because those are only available in SOIC8 packages. The uh, ICS, or the ACS71X uh, family of devices. There's the ACS758, which is through-hole, but it has an oddball uh, CB package. And they're seven bucks each in small quantities. These are now about, if in lots of tin, they're about 33 bucks for a strip of tin. Because there was a price break, or there was a price drop in the things naturally after I bought them. But it wasn't too much. It would have meant that I'd have had to buy... Uh, 82 bucks worth instead of 87 bucks worth, so it isn't insane. It's like they dropped them down to five cents each, but uh, that'd be very annoying. And other than that, the circuit is still pretty much the same. Uh, same uh, potential dividers for the uh, pick, and those are just a uh, little operational amplifier symbols. Those just represent some uh, LPFs for a. Uh, Cutting out the uh, 25,000 cycle per second crap from the uh, um, butt converter so that it doesn't interfere with the measurements that the pick makes. And I also did redesign the inverter circuit, but at least initial testing it isn't really working properly. It's uh, an SG3524 uh, PWM uh, driver chip, a TC4426 MOSFET driver, some MOSFETs, and a uh, transformer. And uh, in order to, uh, and for purposes of overcurrent shutdown, I have a little uh, a sense resistor. It's a 2.5 milliohm sense resistor with a uh, TL081 based um, um, uh, non inverting uh, amplifier.
and um, because ordinarily the SD3524 for two uh, differential inputs for its overcurrent sense uh, shutdown need about 200 millivolts and that will require a, a sensing resistor which would be dropping about 5 watts at full load that's just uh, one of the cats sneezing and this uh, I've got in the and this I've uh, with this revision or a little design I've come up with something that'll drop only about one in change watts because the that's only gonna have about 60 add millivolts across it and uh, except the problem is is that right now the circuit isn't working I've tested the um, MOSFET driver board haven't gotten around to testing the MOS or I've gotten around to testing the MOSFET board and that does work haven't tested the uh, TC4426 yet and I'm waiting on a um, oscilloscope kit so that I can actually test whether or not the oscillator is working. But what I might do is replace this with a uh, 4047 uh, logic uh, chip or a CMOS chip, which is a um, which is a multi vibrator with a integrated um, toggling flip flop. So that means I'd need to add another chip as far as having some. Um, um, uh, and gates as far as for things like uh, low pet for things like uh, low, oh, for over potential shutdown and um, over current shutdown and stuff but um, might be able to work better than this because this the problem another problem with the ST3524 is that that's designed for driving switching supplies at hundreds of thousands of cycles per second and uh, the frequency at which I'm using it, which is a little over 120 cycles per second, is at the absolute bottom of its operating range. So, uh, might have to redesign this again. <laughs> 